Here's a brief review of how I use a plugin called a Chrome plugin called SEO Site Tools uh, in some of the SEO work that we do. What I really like about this tool, yeah, you can see the name of it here, and if you uh, search for this on uh, the Chrome store, you'll be able to find it. It's, uh, what I really like about this tool is it aggregates a lot of interesting data for us. So let's say, for instance, that we're going to evaluate a, uh, a web directory and the quality of a link in a web directory. Uh, and let's say that this link has something to do with, oh, I don't know, let's call it uh, martial arts. So here's the martial arts page. Uh, this is a bad example because there's nothing in that category. Uh, let's go to, I don't know, business. There's got to be something in the, yeah, here we go, automotive. What do you know? All right, so here we are in the automotive uh, category of the web directory.co website. So the question is, is it worth listing our... Uh, our site in this particular page on this directory. The site tools, uh, SEO site tools plugin, you click on this and it loads some metrics. The first metric it loads, and I think the most important one when we're evaluating any piece of content, is the Google cache date. Ideally, uh, a, a page would have both a Google cache date and a Bing cache date, and ideally both those dates would be within the last 30 days. If, uh, if Google isn't bothering to cache a new copy of a page every month or so, Generally speaking, it's not authoritative or useful content in Google's eyes. So therefore, paying for a link on this page would be a waste of money. However, because the date is December 31st, and today's date, I think is January, what is today? January 8th? I don't know. Yeah, the 8th. So this was indexed uh, nine days ago. Uh, that means that this page is something, if we add a link to this page, Google's going to notice it, and Google trusts it enough uh, to probably index it, uh, to probably give it some weight. The other metrics I like to look at here are the SEO Moz Linkscape metrics, and specifically I like to look at the domain authority metric. I've uh, never really seen a strong correlation between results and page authority, uh, but domain authority definitely. If, if you have a lot of domains linking to you with uh, these high domain authority scores, chances are good you're going to have a good, uh, good rankings. Uh, if you want to look at some of these other metrics, uh, they can be useful. The Majestic SEO, I've never really paid close attention to these, but I know a lot of people do. Uh, and then you can also get a sense of maybe where the uh, the site is in terms of popularity by looking at some Alexa and Quantcast data. So this is just the first tab, though. There's actually one, two, three, four, five, what is this, six different tabs. Uh, other tabs that I'll look at uh, occasionally, the social media tab is pretty cool because it'll tell us if uh, it's not really useful on a directory page, but let's say we're looking at a blog post. It'll tell us how many times that uh, page or at least that domain's been uh, tweeted or uh, liked on Facebook or whatever if it's been uh, on dig and then we'll also be able to pull who is information so I don't necessarily use this a lot in link building but it's nice sometimes I have somebody call me and say hey I really want to help me rank my can you guys help us rank your web our website I'll check who is to make sure the person I'm talking to is the person that owns the site uh, you can see where the uh, site is hosted which kind of gives you a sense of you know how sophisticated the, the site is, how big the site is. Something that's hosted by GoDaddy may or may not be as busy as something hosted by uh, Rackspace. Uh, and then last, this is the coolest, I mean, there's a lot of cool things here, and you should uh, explore this thing fully, but the, the last uh, is the suggestions. This is really nice because this gives me kind of a quick hit list when I'm evaluating uh, both the quality of a specific page, but also kind of doing a quick um, site audit. This will tell me, for a directory, this is really important, are there more than 100 links on our page? If there are, it's probably not a good directory to, to buy a placement in or to, to try and submit to. Uh, is the title tag too long or too short? Is the meta description too long or too short? You can see all these items here. So this is really nice. One other thing I really like about it is it shows no follows, and I think this is really critical in directories. Uh, if we have a no followed link, like this one right here, advanced search, uh, we'll know because it'll be uh, what, I don't know, what do you say, highlighted in red? So anyway, this directory might be worth list, linking, uh, listing in. Now let's say we could get a uh, blog post on this mygreenwheels.com website. Uh, let's say we get a guest post here. When was the last time that Google crawled this site? Okay, January 5th, so a couple days ago. Domain authority, it's over 25, which it can, in my mind is kind of the threshold. Uh, it's not a hard number. If it's a really relevant site, then I'll, I'll accept a really low domain authority. But this is another decent quality uh, opportunity here if we could get a guest blog post here or maybe get a link in the blog roll uh, or on the links page we might want to think about doing that so anyway it's called uh, SEO site tools and if you're in the SEO business and you use Chrome you should get it thanks